this is a very important news story, and I think someone actually commented in my um, in in one of under in one of my videos that um, I must talk about this. To be honest, I actually wasn't aware of that. This this is obviously both of these people in this news story are um, uh, are British, and um, you know, unlike you know, like a lot of Americans and British people think that the world revolves around them, <laughs> and the rest of the world is supposed to know everything what's happening in their countries, but. So we don't. Um, so unless it makes it to the Australian news, um, I wasn't going to find out about it. But fair enough, fair enough. This is something that I should be aware of because it is related to the topics that I usually talk about, such as Islam, anti-Muslim bigotry, religions, etc. So, um, so I looked it up. I, I didn't even know who these people were, um, but. I thought, okay, um, I was asked to talk about it, and I think it, it, it was a good call. So Julie Birchill, who is a um, who, who is a journalist in England, she attacked this um, Muslim journalist Ash Sarkar. So apparently, what happened, Ash? And, and before I go further, this is why I need to let you know that this is so important that how we choose our words. Um, we have always maintained that you should not target people's individually. That's bullying. Um, you should not make fun of people individually. If you are talking, if you're targeting an idea, that is a lot better approach and more reasonable as well. Uh, but when you make it personal, when you, and this is why I don't like to use those words where people attack those, you pee worshiper. Etc. When they when they refer to, uh, to Muhammad like that, maybe individual trolls, little trolls, maybe they can get away with it. Um, but if you are a journalist, if you are a celebrity, if you're a politician, you can't do that. You can't use that kind of a language, and um, because it matters when an influencer says it or, or or a notable person says it, because it's not an individual anymore. You're bringing a whole army with you that is going to attack this other person. And that's exactly what happened. So, uh, so Julie Birchall had a friend who made a tweet who said that I, yeah. So he, he said, so the, uh, Julie Birchall's friend, Rod Little, he said uh, in an, uh, he had written an article, not, not a tweet. He had written in an article in which he said, the one reason why he's not a teacher is that he could not remotely conceive of not trying to shag the kids. Wow. He actually wrote that. I, I, when, I, when I read it, I was like, what? So the only reason he's not a teacher is because if he the, uh, if, if he was a teacher, he would go and shag kids. Wow. It, it, that he has self-diagnosed himself for pedophilia. He has because he wants to shag kids. Wow. So as Sarkar, um, this lady who happens to be a Muslim, but also a 21st century woman, she said, whoa. So she attacked that guy, no, not attacked as in physically or, or, or even demonized him. She actually um, said, wow, this is, this is horrible. So she criticized him. She pretty much said what I just said, that he has self-diagnosed himself with pedophilia. <laughs> so, um, and, and he needs help, if not prison. Um, but obviously, I mean, prison if he acts on it. Uh, so he's keeping away, but is that the only place where he um, where he stays away from? So you know we should not even let him go to a playground or any other place where he can go to um, where there are kids around. So so Julie Birchill attacked her, called her all sorts of names, called to her uh, called her Islamist, a pedophile worshiper. She was told. Um, that she should be, uh, uh, you know, pe pe they made lurid sexual fan comments uh, about having a threesome with her and the French far right leader Marine Le Pen. Um, someone told her on Facebook to go kill herself for shame. Um, she is a victim of female genital mutilation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, all types of horrible, typical names one would call someone now. And I, you know, this, this was a good wake up call for me as well, because sometimes I am, um, when I'm locked in a discussion or, or an um, back and forth dis dispute with an Islamist, then I also tend to throw some words like, oh, um, 
oh, come on, you believe in a flying donkey, <laughs> you know, something like that. I would throw that in. Um, or, or I would throw that in something like, oh, do you believe, is it okay uh, that Aisha's age was nine, et cetera? So, so those are the typical ones that I should throw in. Um, but, and I've got to be careful about that because obviously um, you cannot target someone so, on a random issue like that. At least in my case, I'm speaking with someone who is specifically having a discussion with me about these theological issues. But this woman, I mean, you can't just go down the road and you just look, look at a Muslim woman and or a Muslim guy and say, hey, you're a pedophile worshiper. What? H how does that come? Um, so in this context, obviously, she would have said, I, and I understand where Julie Birchall would have come. She would have said, well, hang on. Here you are criticizing my friend who is saying that he's trying not to be a pedophile, but you are a pedophile worshiper yourself. Now that, she could have worded it better. She could have said it better. But again, it depends how you say it because, or who you are, because as she said, as Ashtar Kar said, the rest of the comments that came after that from Julie Birchall's um, followers, they were obviously atrocious. And that uh, she's saying that that affected her mental health. And I understand that this this definitely would have affected her mental health. Um, Julie Birchall says that she, um, uh, you know, all, all white, white, she was, you know, all, all these kind of horrible um, comments were made, directed at her. She couldn't sleep, had bouts, had bouts of trembling and ha heart palpitations. For the first time in my life, I was pre prescribed anti-anxiety medication. Now, here's the interesting twist to it. So at the same time, a media storm was brewing in response to her conduct on social media. The publisher, Little Brown, the publisher Little Brown terminated Birchall's book contract for Welcome to the Vogue Trials, um, where she was actually talking about the Vogue Trials, how identity killed progressive politics. In her apology, Birchall... So, so now, the, before we go into that, so Birchall realized this and she apologized and she s admitted that what she said, that that was Islamophobic more or less. And I'm like... Oh. So you go from one extreme to another. She, what she said was racist and bigoted towards Muslims and her specifically. That just showed what kind of views she would harbor. If she would see some woman in a hijab, what kind of words would be going through her mind? That that just shows that. Uh, but now she was forced to apologize because of the consequences. Um, but to overcorrect it, in order to correct it, she actually overcorrected it by saying that, well, this is Islamophobia. There's no such thing as Islamophobia. So now she has actually, she has also <laughs> legitimized this term Islamophobia. She should have said my comments were bigoted and racist. Uh, I apologize, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I didn't mean any harm. You understand it, one word, whatever they say. Um, so anyway, so uh, her book contract was canceled. She said to uh, to make clear that I accept Miss Sarkar, uh, that Miss Sarkar, did not call for my publisher to break ties with me and bears no responsibility of this. So Asa Kar is actually not responsible for it. I actually would have been. I, I would have called everyone. <laughs> I I would have called a publisher, her employer, wherever she writes, etc. I would have written them a letter with all the tweets and screenshots everywhere. That look, look, this is what this person is doing. Look, we 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 are living in this cancel culture. You know, if you if you don't play with it if you, if you don't play by the by these new rules you you will perish just like what we did with Ali Dawa we're proud of that, that guy. <laughs> so, yeah by the way yeah keep keep signing the petition that we have against uh, Ali Dawa um, and so yeah we can get as many signatures as possible um so anyway so that is um w the interesting part here is the times wrote that welcome to the vogue trials build as indictment of the outrage mob and its impact on freedom speech, freedom of speech. So despite the fact I had never asked for this to happen, media outlets framed the matter as cancel culture gone mad. Birchall's defam defamatory, <laughs> I can never say that word, statements were reported as merely making a comment on Twitter to Muslim libertarian communist. Journalist Asakar about the age of the Prophet Muhammad's wives. No, it wasn't just merely expressing an opinion or uh, politely saying, hey, you know, Prophet Muhammad married a nine year old girl. No, it wasn't like that. 
that was specifically targeted with that was bullying, insult, intimidation. Um, so in this case, you can't really blame the cancel culture. Uh, I I wouldn't if I'm an employer. I don't want to be associated with someone who makes these kind of comments about a vast section of minority or vast uh, group of people. I, I I wouldn't approve of that. So I think that's well done. But the 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 learning part here is that we should always be careful with the words we choose. Uh, and on the la on on the larger scale, if you're speaking with a Muslim, there's no need to throw in charged words like that. Obviously not when you're at the top, but also in, in your in your local conversations, uh, private conversations as well. Um, uh, but we know trolls will always be there. Trolls will always um, write comments, make up, makes charged statements like that all the time. They, they they will do it anyway. But it's time that people start taking responsibility because it's going to come back and bite you in the backside. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.